Your most used gadget, the one you cannot go a day without, is packed with some seriously amazing features you probably did not know about. Imagine removing the background from photos in just a few seconds, scheduling birthday messages so you never forget, sharing your Wi-Fi password with a simple QR code, or even transforming your phone into a portable white noise machine. And guess what? That's just scratching the surface. I've curated over 25 of the coolest iPhone tips and tricks to help you get the absolute most out of your device. Before we start, this video is going to be pretty long, so I decided to split it into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to share a few awesome iPhone tips and tricks to help you make the most out of your device. Part two will be linked in the description below. So grab your iPhone and let's unlock its full potential together. One thing we all miss from Android is the ability to make the home screen personalized. Now you can customize the home screen with personalized style like this or this or this. To do this, long press anywhere on home screen, tap edit and then customize. Here you get the option to pick from four different styles, light, dark, automatic or tinted. Select tinted and you can choose your color with the color bar here or you can choose the eyedropper icon here and select a color from the home screen image to make your own custom style. I really love how I can play around with colors and elevate the look of my phone with just this simple change. Though the phone every year looks the same physically, I can customize home screen to make it look different. While we are here, there are two options on the top to select from, small and large. If you select large, you can see that the icon label vanishes and you are left only with the app icons. You can do this to have a cleaner looking home screen. But if you have many third party apps and you cannot find the app with just the icon, then select small and you will get back the label under the app icon. Ever handed your phone to someone to take a quick picture and felt uneasy about your privacy? Here is a simple fix to keep your personal information secure. You can lock individual apps with Face ID. Just long press on the app icon and select Require Face ID. And the app will only open if you unlock it with your Face ID. When you no longer need this feature, simply long press the app again and select Don't Require Face ID. With this handy trick, you can hand over your phone worry-free knowing your private apps are safe and secure. Another tip, if you don't want an app to be even visible on the home screen or app library at all, you can long press on an app, click on require face ID and then select hide and require face ID. So now this app will be hidden from the home screen and app library. But if you want to access it, go to app library, scroll down to the end, you can see the hidden section here. Open that with face ID and it will show all your hidden apps here. Instead of long pressing the volume up button and power button to power off your phone, now you can easily turn off your phone from the control center by long pressing the power button on the top right like this. Speaking of control center, iOS 18's control center is more customizable than ever. Control center can now be multiple pages like the home screen. There are so many more control widget options. You can resize the control center icons to be large or even group them together. To view through a new control center options, long press on the screen, then tap add a control. Here, pick from the vast list of new options. Where you tap on it, it appears on control screen. You can either change the size of the icon by resizing the icon like this, or even move it to a separate page to group a certain set of control center options. I have one for basic controls, one for home automation controls, and one for music. Try it out. While we are here, open the camera app, take a picture of this plant or a dog and if the info button displays a symbol with stars like this, it means visual lookup is available for this picture. Tap star info button, then tap look up the photo information to view the visual lookup results. This has been so useful to look up about a plant or breed of a dog or look up places. Look at this photo for example. This is a Seattle Spikes Place Market. I can easily select to get directions straight from the photo or order something from a shop close by. I really love this feature. 
Another cool feature with Photos app is that you can easily and quickly remove background to get just the subject like this to make it a meme or a sticker. To get that, open any photo, long press on the subject. Now you can see that you can move the subject alone like this. Hold this and using your other finger, swipe to go to home page, open notes and a new note. Drop it here. Now you have removed the background and you just have the subject. Now you can click on the share button and select save image. Now this photo will be saved in your photos app. If there are multiple subjects in the same photo, there is a way to remove background in one go. Just share this photo to files app on your iPhone like this. Now just long press that photo in the files app, go to quick actions and tap on remove background. A new photo will be created with all the subjects. Even though there are so many digital ways to jot down notes, I still love my notebook and pen for quick notes and scribbles. But I can easily digitize with my camera app. Let me show you. To do this, you need to take a photo of a text. You will see this option on the bottom right with three lines. Select that. Now you need to select the text you want to digitize. Long press here and choose the text. Now you get an option to copy the text. You can paste this text to your notes, reminders or anywhere you want to save it. You also get an option to use the Apple Intelligence writing tools to rewrite or summarize them. You can select look up or there is an option to translate the text. There are so many languages to choose from. This is a great feature for students to catch up on notes easily. Did you know that your iPhone can work some serious photo magic? Regular smartphones capture photos, process them and compress them before saving it to your gallery as a JPEG image. During this processing, a lot of data is thrown away. If you edit your photos or looking for more control over your shots, iPhone lets you capture and save photos with all that information without any loss. This format is called the Pro RAW format. It captures unprocessed data from your camera sensor, giving you full flexibility to tweak things like exposure, white balance and color without losing quality. To capture in Pro RAW, enable it in camera settings like this. Once you have enabled it, tap on this option while taking a photo and the photo will be captured in Pro RAW format. There is a catch though, since Pro RAW captures all the information, the size of the image will also be much larger than usual format, almost 10 times larger. So use it sparingly only for photos you think you will need a lot of processing later. Eye tracking. Did you know that you can control your iPhone with just your eyes? Eye tracking is an accessibility feature in iOS where you can control your phone screen with just your eye movements like this. Here's how you can set it up and give it a try. Update your iPhone to iOS 18 or later. Go to Settings, Accessibility, Eye Tracking. Turn on eye tracking and follow the on-screen instruction to calibrate it. Once eye tracking is enabled, an invisible cursor will follow your eye movements. You can use dwell control to select objects by focusing your gaze on them. It's an awesome feature, but I haven't used it much. Let me know if it's a helpful feature for you. If you're on iOS 18 and have an iPhone model with adaptive True Tone flash like iPhone 14 Pro, 15 Pro or 16 Pro, the iPhone flashlight gets a major upgrade. Now you can control not just the intensity of flashlight, but the spread of the flashlight as well. Here's how it works. Turn on flashlight from lock screen, control center, Siri or action button. Dynamic Island will show the new flashlight UI. You can swipe left or right to adjust the beam width of the flashlight and swipe up or down to control the brightness. Tap the flashlight icon in the dynamic island to turn it off or on. With this update, you now have more brightness options than ever before. It's perfect for a more customized lighting experience. All right, that's all for part one. I hope you found these tips helpful. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for part two, where I'll share even more awesome iPhone tricks. Catch you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.